Hello everyone, I'm Matt Zapp and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Yes, I did nothing between this episode and the last. Except for burp a few times for some reason. <laughs> but, uh... Anyways, let's continue on. We got the dash last time. Is that a set distance? I think it is. Yeah, okay. It looks to be that way. Are we going into a new area? There's this... There's a Lake of Oon. Ooh, a building. Uh... Hey, dude. Nah, Minobis. Oh, hello there. Seems we both tread far from the path. Is that thing that's on top of his head supposed to be kind of one of those, like, s Japanese, like, samurai hat things? I can hardly believe those dusty old highways led to such a lush and lively place. This building suggests some form of worship, though its idol has clearly been long forgotten. Doubles equally well for a moment's respite. Yeah, but I'm right about that, bunny. Okay, so this is still a green path, and it looks like it's a dead end here. Go on. Some Go strange fellow out there. Seemed quite taken by the lake. I planned to offer greetings, though figured I'd first into my nail. Chance our meeting goes poorly. Let's meet this dude. Oh, you're just um. Oh, okay. I I, I was wondering if it was gonna be like uh, I don't know, been able to talk to this one or something. I see a big flying thing, both in the background and there was something in the foreground. Um, but we don't have any sort of double jump. We have dash, but I don't... Can I dash multiple times in the air? It doesn't... It does not appear so. No. Hey, I killed that dude. He tried to attack me. Your nail looks like a fine instrument, but it's showing signs of wear. The way you're up there... It would... The way you're up there, it would take you far. Down here, however, I suspect you'll soon meet dangers the surface world can't match. Hmm. Hollowness is perfect for vigilant explorers like us. So tense and thrilling. In this place, you're either alert or you're dead. This guy just have like a, a slew of different hmm. dialogue options? Okay, no. Well, not that many dialogue options. Okay, that's cool. So there's something lore-wise, at least, with that lake. I'm not sure if the, the lore part is going to come into play at all. For a second, <laughs> for a second I forgot what my dash button was. I was like, what? Remember, hit random walls and maybe you'll get a reward out of it. Um, okay. I was like, wait, where are we again? But, okay, so I got the dash now. And there's, I know there's stuff in the Forgotten Crossroads we can access with that. But we can get one of the, uh, the worm people, I believe. Hey, stag man, bring it to the front crossroads, please. Let's see. Okay, um, I think it's towards the top right of the map. So if we go, just go up, I think. Oh. 
hold that. Oh yeah, we never opened that up. Okay. No. Ah, uh, whoops. Nope. That way. Depending on what I'm feeling for the day when I edit this, I might cut some of this backtracking out, but I don't know. Uh, I think we go... This... Actually... No, I wasn't up here. Um... Or was it? Hold on, I, I'm confusing myself. Oh boy, can I just go past you, buddy? Oh wait, no, there's one behind this guy, but... Um, okay, yeah, I think it's down we want to go. Something in this room, I don't know where. Is there one be trapped behind a wall somewhere? Oh, and we haven't explored the side area. Oh boy, this is very dark. Ah. Ow. This is very dark and spooky, and I don't like it. Oh, and our, our shot ability doesn't light up the darkness. I feel like we're supposed to have something in here, right? Uh, I'm not. I don't know. <laughs> I, I feel like we're not supposed to be there yet. Oh, hey, yeah, there's a secret wall over here. Stupid pea shooters. Yay, we got it anyway. Okay, well, that's not the one we were looking for, but that's a welcome addition. Hey, this guy's got a sword and a shield. Ow. Can we get a shield? Get wrecked. Ooh, what's that? Also, are we on a different map? Not quite yet. Interesting enemy there. Okay. Hold that for some extra money. Isn't that one of the great questions of life, of where are we going? talking much. Um, commentary is totally an easy thing to do. I feel like a lot of YouTubers make commentary sound like it's hard to do, but I think it's just making it engaging is the hard part. This is like a train. A door with an open slot. Okay. Can't expect that at all. Hmm. Perhaps we need a key item to access that. Well, that's a big dude. Uh, let's heal up a little bit first. Uh, I'm assuming this is a boss. Okay. Gruz mother. 
Oh yeah, it's like those weird mosquito things, but it's big. Ow, okay, he's gonna flop around. Yeah, it took me a lot of time. Gosh. So this is his attack pattern, huh? He just flops around. I guess there's not a whole lot else it looks like you would be able to do. I don't know, maybe like shoot some... Use baby weapons? I mean, like a lot of Mega Man bosses did that. Or, not bosses, just a lot of Mega Man enemies did that. Oh, okay, that's kind of cheap, I felt like. Ow. Did we beat him already? Oh, okay. That seemed kind of easy. Oh gosh, his body's jiggling, that's kind of weird. Uh, an interesting second portion of the fight is just, here's a bunch of small ones. That are just kind of normal enemies. Nothing? Okay. Well, that was another boss fight. Okay, I can drop down there. Oh, uh, there's some weird laughing over here. The, uh, the Maniac's Hut. I guess we're gonna get in some real Dark Souls stuff here. That's really unsettling. I'm just not gonna read that dialogue, it makes me uncomfortable. I'm Salubra, and this is my cozy little charm store. Oh, it's charms, okay, not as bad, I guess. The town folk out there tell you to come and visit me? This is a lovely little village, isn't it? Warm and intimate and full of life. Mm, what were we talking about? Oh yes, charms. I can see you started your own collection. Very nice. I'll show you some of my own and you can take one home with you if you like. <laughs> uh, long nail. Uh, okay, so it just extends our nail. That's nice. Uh, do we have any space for charm? No, but... I could get rid of the wayward compass. Kill this demon and then just steal all the charm. I know I don't get on by most things, but just that laughing makes me really annoyed and uncomfortable. Um, I guess I can get rid of that. Are we gonna get more notches? Well, I don't know. I, I mean, I don't need this. I can unequip it, I guess. <laughs> okay, so lifeblood heart. Um, what does that do? I mean, I can't really use it, but steady body. Um, oh, so I don't get knocked back when I attack. That's really nice. Uh, shaman stone. Okay. Spell uh, our projectiles stronger. Oh, sick! We can get, we can eventually get more uh, charm notches. That's nice. So I'll buy this one because I really like it. And I'll eventually want this one, so I'll purchase it so that we can unlock a. Oh wait, I need to buy another one. Whoops. 
Uh, the cheapest one is this one. Might as well. <laughs> Get to put these geos to use. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, does that... Okay, yeah, they'll just have four notches now. Yeah. Um, uh, I can watch... Oh, wait, whoops, you have to, you have to go here to equip it. Duh. Long nail. Like, is that longer? I I'm gonna just stick with it and test it out more thoroughly at any other rest point. A little oh, stinky fly. Uh, or oh, you, oh, you wield your nail like a club. As me. How much deeper do we have to go? Oh. Uh, oh, what? Who are you? I, I see. This old village. A strange dream that led me down here. If you hadn't found me, I don't think I would have ever woken. I'm Sly. Usually I live an uninventable life up, up in dirt mouth. The air in these rooms doesn't agree with me, so I must be getting back. You return above, come and see me. I'll let be the friendliest face left there, and I can thank you properly for your good deed. Oh, well, that's nice. Give all them, math. You're exploring, then. Very brave. Plenty of courageous wanderers have been lost to the hunger in these old caverns. You have your nail, though, and I can tell just by looking at you and know how to wheel it. Thank you, Sly. You're a very cool person, it appears. Hey, shortcut. Very cool. Yeah, this game does have a lot of Dark Souls elements. It has some of its own, but there's also a lot of Dark Souls elements. Because... The... But let's see. It has... Nah, I mean, I guess it's really just in the tone of the game and kind of like how the, the levels work and how it's all like... Um, and how it's all... There's a lot of shortcuts going back to all the rest points that there are. The rest points are like bonfires. Ow. Ow. Ow, stop shooting me with orange juice. The orange juice flies. So I guess, like, orange juice is, like, a drug in this universe? Is that... Am I reading that right? Because <laughs> Sly was, like... He was, like, totally... Woke, dude. Yeah, he was, like, on... He was, like, pretty clearly, like, on... Something. And I woke him up. So, yeah, is orange juice just, like, a drug? Is that what I'm supposed to get? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I forgot. I don't have the... The thing anymore. Um, I'm kind of curious what this way is. Oh, okay, that's back here. Gotcha. Um, okay, let's just mark our progress here. Never found that other, um, the other small creature. <laughs> Calm down, buddy, okay? Um, I guess let's go back to Green Path? I'm not sure exactly where we're supposed to go next, but... We're supposed to be going somewhere. Pop sit there. Look at the map. Um, uh, where are we exactly? Oh, I think we're in the the middle left rest point. Uh, yes, that looks about right. Or 
orientation with my headset here because for some reason some just sometimes when I'm wearing this headset my right ear gets pinched after like a while. So that's you know fun. Oh yeah, let's put this night thing. If the audio levels change when I shift it, I shift it back because I don't want to keep it different for very long. Yeah. Okay, that was a very intense battle. Hey, we got another worm dude out of it, at least. Yeah, let's start a couple hit points. It's, it's really hard for me to figure out exactly where I'm at. Oh, that goes off. Yeah. yeah, where even are we on the map? I can't tell. So lost with my wayward compass thing. <laughs> okay, I think. Okay, I think I know where we're at now. Okay, I don't want to fight you, dude. Just leave me alone, please. I wonder if there's like different runs you can do with this game, like a pacifist run or something like that. Be a real Undertale that way. I thought. I don't think Undertale is the first one to go up with pacifist routes and not pacifist routes. Would that be given to Inf uh, yeah, Infamous, I think it's called? Because the that game, those games have the karma system. Well, I don't know if it's exactly pacifist or not. It's just good or bad with like karma so The only one of those games I ever played was uh, Infamous Second Son. And it's kind of weird that they haven't come out with another one since then because I feel like it was a pretty popular series. And Second Son was pretty good. Oh. <laughs> bruh. That was a bro moment right there. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. These games are pretty good. Actually, <laughs> speaking of Second Son, I have a playthrough of it on the channel, so if you want to watch it, and you want to know about the second son and all that cool stuff, then... Uh oh Double armadillo... Ar <laughs> Double armadillo, there we go. <laughs> Start focusing the left big one. Ah, oh, no, I died! <laughs> Stupid little armadillos. Okay, interesting little mini-boss here. Oh gosh, we have to... That's where we have to get back to. Uh, I might cut... ...till I get back, depending on what I feel like. You know, now that I think about it, the... That one... Charm that makes it so that we don't move when we uh, hit something with the nail is overall probably a benefit, but it's also kind of a detriment to my specific playstyle because I like to about I like to pogo like I'm Shovel Knight or something, and ow! Oh my gosh! Stop shooting off 
armadillos, please. <laughs> Gosh. It's this is surprisingly difficult. Especially given the fact that you don't really get much of an opportunity to heal. No, come on, I killed one. Dang it. It's such a long run back. It's not really a, a closer spot either. Hello, Shadow Friend. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this point to heal up, and then I'm gonna generate some more soul by killing these dudes. I'll this one. Yeah, just so I have more. that I can start off the battle faster. Oh, it, it kills them off. Okay, I didn't realize that. That makes this fight way easier now. Okay, I kind of ran into that one. Okay, that was the game. I'm playing that one on the game. I'm doing that thing. Also, I thought it was kind of unique when Minecraft Dungeons did the, like, oh, you get MP by dealing damage type thing, but I guess <laughs> Hollow Knight kind of did it first, didn't it? Or at least it did before. Not sure if it's the first one to do this, that mechanic, but... I get those battle music playing when there's no enemies. Ooh. A new ability? Boulder Shell. Is that a charm? Oh, okay, it is. Cool. Cricket Sparrow with a hard shell while focusing soul. <gasps> That's so nice! Now we... are. I think... It might just be we have, like, hyper armor when we're... Charging up. Okay. <laughs> when we're... Charging up soul moves. Wait. Can I read it again? While well, focusing soul. Okay, so... Yeah, I think... Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die. Why am I spawning all the way back here? Yeah. Um... What's up? Doc. <laughs> gosh, I hate myself now. I was never really a Looney Tunes person, but I did really appreciate Space Jam, and we'll say that much. Um, okay, let's get back to a bonfire. Oh, that's, I didn't even realize our time is pretty much up. But I want to get to a bonfire so that I can check out some of the... Uh, oh, come on, seriously? I wanted to check out the yep. different uh, charms that we got. Test out that sword elongator thing. And yeah, okay, so okay, I pressed left, not up. That's with the extendo one. Then if we switch it out for like, okay, let's go up here on equip. Go up here and equip. Okay, yeah, there is a, a range to it. Uh, okay, I might just keep the boulder shell one. But, uh, yeah, that'll be all for this episode. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Follow my Twitter for all news related to this channel. And I'll see you all on the next episode.